Chapter 553, Myriad Enemies Annihilate with a Wave of the Hand. The evil bell was powerless even if it wanted to protect its master. The declivity mountain bell was already stronger than it. And now, that stronger bell even shot out its most powerful attack. The evil bell already had a difficult time saving itself, let alone saving the evil child. It was blown far away and disappeared in the endless sea. During its uncontrollable descent, cracking sounds could be heard. It had definitely been cracked by the declivity mountain bell. It didn't stop even after falling into the ocean. It kept on flying at an extremely fast speed. Once it regained control, it decided to fly away since it didn't dare to stay any longer. Another strike from the other bell would completely shatter it despite it being an emperor's weapon. After the long years, the evil bell had its own consciousness. So at this moment of life and death, it chose to run away as far as possible from the declivity mountain bell, from Lee Kai leisurely changing the trajectory with his hands to the resplendent break and the impact between the two bells. Everything happened too quickly. In a minute, the evil child died a pitiful death and the evil bell had escaped. The insect king lineage and the titanic crescent sacred ground didn't have the chance to react. Afterward, the saint child regained his senses and once again tried to establish a connection with the declivity mountain bell. After sensing its existence again, he quickly reacted to regain control, return. However, before he could take back the reins, a beam of light shot forward, causing him to scream miserably. Ah, with no chance to fight back, he was struck by this beam of light as his blood spurted everywhere, resulting in his immediate death. The yin yang refining immortal mirror was hovering above Li Kai's head since who knows when. It was a foreign Dao treasure at the same level as an immortal emperor true treasure. Without the declivity mountain bell protecting him, the saint child was not able to withstand even one blow. With the death of the saint child, the declivity mountain bell had lost its master so Li Kai reached out to grab it. The group from the titanic crescent sacred ground regained their composure after seeing the bell with its new master. A group of experts then screamed out, you dare? They then all rushed forward. Boom. A gigantic hand reached out, aiming to take the bell away from Li Kai's hand. Universal laws accompanied this gigantic hand like a waterfall, giving this hand the power to crush all things. Not to mention sovereigns, even a heavenly king would be able to stop this one blow, a virtuous paragon. People shivered when they saw this gigantic hand. The strength of this hand clearly showed that an ancestor of the Titanic Crescent Sacred Ground had taken action. This was an ancestor of an emperor's lineage, extremely terrifying and heaven-defying. Even an ordinary virtuous paragon could crush a heavenly king like crushing an ant. The declivity mountain bell heard the call of the sacred ground so it rattled, wanting to leave Li Kai's hand. Li Kai ignored the group of experts soaring forward from the sacred ground as well as the approaching gigantic hand. He threw out five bronze doors and shouted, Seal, bang. The five bronze doors came down from the sky and turned into five gigantic corners, sealing all the experts and even the ancestor of the sacred ground, heaven sealing pentagate. The five doors became one with five corners and trapped all the experts inside, rumble. From inside the newly erected walls formed by the five doors and five different corners came banging noises. The experts and the ancestor of the sacred ground wanted to break out. Their impact created blaring noises, causing pain to the listeners. Boom. Another huge blast occurred as an emperor's aura emanated all around these bronze walls. From the outside, one could sense this aura. Everyone was immediately filled with dread. An immortal emperor life treasure. The titanic crescent ancestor is using an emperor's weapon. A person quivered and shouted with a blanched expression. A virtuous paragon wielding an emperor's weapon was a terrifying thing. Their power could sweep through all things in this world. But despite this, the ancestor still couldn't escape the heaven ceiling pentagate a short period of time since this was an item that had once sealed the world. Chase it. Amidst this development, another emperor's lineage, the insect king lineage, ignored the sacred ground offensive and chose to chase the evil bell instead. The sacred ground's problem had nothing to do with them. The insect king lineage was willing to give up the big fortune inside the pond because if they lost the evil bell, it would be an irrecoverable loss. To them, nothing was more important than the bell. Li Kai ignored the commotion in the heaven ceiling pentagate and used the yin yang refining immortal mirror to pour down an endless stream of silk like immortal light to wrap around a declivity mountain bell. The bell kept on rattling and wanted to escape Li Kai's control. It was a heaven defying item, but it was neither an emperor's weapon nor true treasure personally refined by immortal emperor Jutian. It was not like the other life weapons that had imperial seals or a true weapon with a heaven's will seal. Nevertheless, immortal emperor Jutian still left behind a mark on the bell so that it would have a connection to the sacred ground. Because of this, despite being suppressed by the immortal mirror, it still tried to escape. Without the mirror, Li Kai had no way of controlling the bell, let alone suppressing it. He didn't have too much time left since the heaven sealing pentagate would not be able to imprison the titanic crescent ancestor for much longer. Li Kai then used a drop of longevity blood that also contained a drop of myriad star water. When this blood drop permeated the bell, it began to quiet down. Li Kai had used this method to unlock the imperial seal and mortal emperor life treasures before, so it was even easier to deal with the mark on this mountain bell. Deep inside the titanic crescent ancestral ground, another ancestor lost his connection with the declivity mountain bell. He was startled and knew something terrible had happened as he exclaimed with shock. Not good. The declivity mountain bell has been stolen. Li Kai didn't have much time so he needed to finish this quickly. He took in the bell and rushed towards the phoenix maiden. A bunch of ghost cultivators with boiling blood wanted to stop him. They shouted, You have to ask us first before harming the phoenix maiden. The majority of them were young since the sly foxes didn't want to die in her place. As you wish. Li Kai was too lazy to look at them since he wanted to end everything quickly. With the hell suppressing godly physique activated, space shook once again. Bang. 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 All the ghost cultivators that were protecting the maiden were blown away. All of this happened in just one second. 
They all turned into blossoming flowers of blood that had a strange and dazzling beauty. With the cry of a phoenix, the maiden also rushed forward. She mustered all of her strength for an attack. Boom. However, before she could get close, she was already sent flying away, spilling blood. She was not a match for Li Kai before, let alone now when his two immortal physiques were activated. Before she could fall to the ground, Li Kai already had her by the neck. This scene shocked everyone, especially the ghost cultivators. Everyone gasped but no one dared to take action at this moment. The insect king lineage had left and the titanic crescent sacred ground was temporarily entrapped so no other great powers dared to act recklessly. Just thinking about the declivity mountain bell in Li Kai's possession already left them shivering. Moreover, the royal lords and wily ancestors would not risk their lives against Li Kai for the phoenix maiden. These big shots only showed their agreement with the maiden to incite the crowd for a chance to kill Li Kai. Only ordinary cultivators and young geniuses would trust the words of the maiden and become willing to heroically die for her. The old and experienced cultivators knew when to move forward and when to let go. Right now, Li Kai had an emperor's weapon. No one wanted to fight Li Kai to save the maiden. It was a shame that the experts from the Myriad Bones throne weren't here to save her. Li Kai gripped her neck and slowly spoke. Now it is time for last words if you have any. The phoenix maiden took a deep breath. She became even calmer when death approached. She closed her eyes and inadvertently shed a tear. Finally, she ended with a sentence. Please, everyone, tell these Yuo to not avenge me. At this moment, she understood that she had taken one wrong step and lost the whole board. If she left with Long Zunshin earlier, then she would still have had a chance. Or, if she chose to acquiesce completely even earlier, then she could have changed this feud with Li Kai into friendship. This battle just now enlightened her of Li Kai's means, and she also understood why Long Zunshin chose to leave. But now, it was all too late. Therefore, she left such last words because she knew that if her husband tried to fight Li Kai, it would not end well. After having come this far, the maiden only wanted Yi Zuo to live on. It was fine if he couldn't become an immortal emperor. Becoming a top virtuous paragon was enough. There was no need to compete with Li Kai to become an immortal emperor.